welcome this is the energy vibration um reading for the Ophios the sun moon horizon sign i want to say thank you for being here thank you for being back thank you for the wonderful positive energy vibration this is the month of december it's a water month you're a fire person but it's luck as of 3rd of december you guys are going to be so lucky okay a lot of luck is going to be coming in for you guys so um as i always say it does really matter what comes up in a monthly reading because it's a general reading but for each and each individual different people are going to be lucky in um as of the third of december so obvious let's see what's coming up thank you for supporting my channel please share these videos to all the rest of people who are obvious and uh, um, I want to say to each and every person, this is the last reading for 2019. Monthly readings, the full moon readings are going to be coming up soon. And then you can check out your 2020 reading. If you want a 2020 reading, please order on time so that you will have them out on time. In the first week, we have Imperial. We have Transition. Um, we have something coming to an end and a new start is going to be coming in. So in the first week, expect that the uh, go and watch the Sagittarian video because they have the tower and this is the Imperial, the end of something. So this is wonderful and positive. It is a water energy. So be aware of that. Then we have the energy of the end. Yeah. So transition, then the end. So the second and, you know, transition can also be very good. So um whatever is transpiring transition can also be very good the end of a situation the wheel of fortune comes up the world and the wheel of fortune together this month is looking good you're ending something in the first week so it could be your ending your work ending a contract christmas is going to be good you have the wheel of fortune so a lot of you your wishes and dreams wheel of fortune comes up because you guys are going to be very very lucky um, and especially in the, the, the second week, going in the third week of Christmas, luck is coming out. You're handing um, the year, removing something out of your life that no longer serve you. So the uh, Wheel of Fortune, and this is what I said, remember, this is a general reading, so it's not going to affect everyone. But what I can see, because your luck is coming in, in the third week, the second week and the third week is where your luck is now what we have here is that we have um emotional experience something ending in the first week second week we have the hurt coming in balancing out something but bringing something new and the third week this new thing is going to be coming in the last week we have the energy of something being definitely being removed out of your life so wonderful energies wonderful alignment from energy whatever is happening and transpiring whatever that is affecting you in your life i'm seeing transition but i'm seeing as something and something new and beautiful is going to be coming in so as something and i'm seeing something young and beautiful is going to be really really coming in and this is going to be good so let's see what is happening for the ophiosis in the first week going in the second week there is heartbreak so it could be the ending of something that you feel lost at okay so something is going to be transforming and it could be that some of you are leaving a job behind some of you are leaving someone behind some of you are leaving but as you leave that thing behind something new is going to be happening new emotion new love is going to be coming in because as you leave that thing that no longer serves you behind, I'm seeing new love and new emotions coming in. Your burdens are going to be over as you come into the end of the year. Whatever burdens that you were carrying, it's going to be leaving you as you come in the end of the year. So some of you could be dealing with some issues and situation that is going to be removed out of your life. And this is going to be good. Whatever the heart breaks is and whatever is ending, you need to accept that. So you are you are going to be making a decision over a Capricorn, whoever this Capricorn or whatever is transpiring. I'm seeing some of you have to make a decision over a Capricorn or a decision about a Capricorn because I'm seeing the world uh, the world is something ending and you have to make a decision 
the second is uh, the quest of emotion the quest of emotion is uh, um the energy of coming up in the third week of christmas so this is going to be good because uh, um, a lot of loving emotion is coming up the outcomes is a height of pentacles and this is very good this is wonderful because whatever is transpiring and happening this is really really wonderful because i'm seeing you ending up with the eight of pentacles now this is wonderful so i'm seeing a lot of you a work is coming to an end um uh, you could be leaving a work situation behind that is coming to an end and I'm seeing as this end something new is going to be coming in I'm seeing the removal of your burdens burdens that you are carrying with um, emotional burdens are going to be definitely removed I'm seeing a lot of you were hanging on and dealing with some emotional burdens and I'm seeing this is definitely going to be ending now um, love is the love or kids a lot of kids issues um with kids is going to be over i'm seeing um emotions is coming in um heartbreaks with kids because maybe the kids do not get what they wanted for christmas so i'm seeing this heartbreak coming up but you know what is so very important is that the ending of emotional burdens okay the moving the removal of burdens that you have been carrying and these are all emotional burdens that you have been carrying i'm seeing some of you having um heartbreaks with a capricorn some of you could be having some heartbreaks with a capricorn um whatever this is i'm seeing really that you're having some heartbreaks with a capricorn so whatever that is so you're having heartbreaks with a capricorn but what i'm seeing is that I'm, I'm i'm seeing that um whatever this heartbreak is i'm seeing some of you have to make decision about work but it's going to be okay because i'm seeing that you know i if 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 you, you're working on a project as you end that one a new one is going to be opening up so not to worry the three of swords is here and the three of swords is a loss and I'm seeing that some of you, um, the transition of this heartbreak. So, um, you're coming in the month and there was a loss, but, um, it's, a, it's like you're, you're bouncing back. You're bouncing back because you're just letting go of that loss and said, you know, something, um, it was meant to be, it was meant to be by, and you're just letting it go. And you're trying to, um, bounce back and, uh, this is going to be good because um, some of you had some heartbreaks. It could be about the Capricorn, but I'm seeing that heartbreaks is over and I'm seeing that you are going to be trying to work out some emotional situation that you were having with this person. So this is going to be good because it's going to be working out in your best. So what we have here, um, Imperians, the end of heartbreaks um, with... Uh, um it, it definitely i said work and the end of artworks with people in power some of you were dealing with some issue with people in power you are heartbroken and that has come to an end um here is the situation with an organization um there is love coming in so it's as if that's exactly what i said um some of you are going to be handing a job or ending something to do with people in power or people who were using their power or people who have done something and you are heartbroken about that and you are ending this and as soon as you end that something new comes in so the the, the world end something um with groups of people organization and bring in a new positive groups of people and organization and this is good i'm seeing some of you trying to balance out something because you are letting go of emotional burdens and this is good what you're doing is definitely saying i no longer want to carry this emotional burden i'm letting it go and it is going to be good whatever is transpiring is that you are going to be successfully feeling much better about yourself and uh, um, success over the heartbreaks that has come in that has to deal with the knight of pentacles so there again i said to you guys there was an issue you were carrying some emotional issue with a taurus virgo or capricorn person now it is coming up uh, yeah it is a taurus virgo or capricorn person 
it could be a Virgo for some of you some of you were carrying some emotional issues and emotional baggages for a Virgo or a Capricorn um, I'm seeing this ending because you're going to be whatever the heartbreak is that you had with this Virgo I'm seeing you coming out of this situation because you definitely this Virgo has done some injustice um, a transition with the energy of the lovers so some of you it could be um, your um, you're seeing the truth of a, a situation that is now your room that helps you to remove this emotional burden that you were carrying so it, it is really complete is that it is all about emotional burdens um, some of you could have divorced and then whatever that has transpired with the divorce I'm seeing that now you're finally letting it go and moving on. I'm seeing you seeing the truth about a situation. I'm seeing as you let go of some emotional balance that you were carrying, I'm seeing new love coming in. So sometimes we hold on on people in relationship and they're not really healthy for us. And it's as if the end of the year, you're going to be realized this person is not really healthy for me. I am going to be letting go of this person and I see as you do that some one new is going to be coming in some of you are definitely leaving your jobs behind some of you have had heartbreaks with your job and you're definitely leaving your job behind some of you really like what you do but there is some heartbreaks and I'm seeing you moving forward now I'm seeing some of you having issues with a Aquarian at work and I see that you're having some emotional issues with an Aquarian some of you but some of you could be having issues with this Aquarian at work now whatever that is going on I'm seeing you turning your back a lot of you have no regrets turning your back on a job I'm seeing lies and deception emotional lies and deception that has to do with a young uh, Taurus Virgo or Capricorn the end of a situation with a young and um, this person is been stabbed in the back by an Aquarius whoever this Aquarius is have stabbed this person in the back I think that you are going to be finding out something that if you are in a relationship with someone now that they did something to your ex-partner they did something to your ex-partner and whatever they have done is going to be coming out and you're going to be finding out what they have done you're definitely going to be finding out what they have done so this is really coming up for you guys that whatever that is it's as if your your partner now has done something to your ex-partner i'm seeing your ex-partner comes out very strong um out of this situation but you're going to be finding out that is your now partner did something to your ex-partner lies and stab your ex-partner in the back and i think it's because of jealousy and uh, you are going to be as if you um and what i'm seeing is that you are going to be whoever this aquarian person is i think you want to let them be because you saw the lies what they have done and stabbed this person but this person came out successful but it's as if you're in a relationship with an aquarian gemini or libra or this could be a friend and you found out what they have done to your ex partner and but their ex partner still came out and you're offering the ex partner love because now you realize what has transpired so this is why you're removing the emotional blockage that you have been carrying for a taurus virgo or a capricorn person um because you had a lot of love for this person and i think you still love this person but there is someone either your partner that is an Aries the or Sagittarius or a friend 
who is an Aries Leo or Sagittarius, has created some deceptiveness around your ex-partner that is a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. And now the whole truth came out and you found out what has happened and what has transpired. But this, your partner and the child is going to be successful. And you're glad because um, your partner and your child is definitely going to be a, your ex-partner and the child is going to be very successful because the whole thing here is that the truth came out, okay? So they are going to be very successful. The clouds is being um, removed. So the Sagittarians get this. And please go and listen to the Sagittarians reading because the Sagittarians get the removal of the cloud um, in their first week. And you guys have imperial the debt to a situation and the clouds is being removed. So there was some clouds hanging over um, some of you and your relationship or your ex-partner. And now peace comes in because the end comes to that and peace come in. But I think that some of you are going to be finding out that your partner now has something to do with what has transpired with your ex. And you're not going to like that. Um, work is going to be good. You are going to be very successful at work. Work is going to be good. Um, definitely work is going to be good. I'm seeing you balancing out things. There's a lot to do, but you're balancing out things. People appreciate what you're doing and that is going to be good. So I'm seeing work is going to be good. I'm seeing a lot of money coming in, a lot of money. I've seen you're going to be receiving a lot of money from your work. Um, definitely a lot of money from your work. Peace is coming in because Whatever has transpired, I'm seeing that you're going to be finding out that there was some horrible situation that is happening to your ex. And it has to do with people in power, lies, and deceptiveness. But you're going to be finding out that either a friend or your partner, that is an Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra, have lied and deceivingly done something. And I think there is a whole lot of jealousy is going on because they realized that this person was far better than they are and had more, um, much better position or characteristics was much better. And this um, young person is going to be very successful because I'm seeing love coming to this person. Um, and whatever the lies and deceptive is and whoever stabbed them in their back, I'm seeing um, that you are going to be seeing the truth about the situation. You're definitely going to be seeing the truth about the situation. I am seeing the lily, the peace, a piece is coming in um, with an organization and people in power. And after the lies and deception, I'm seeing the truth coming out about what people in power have done against your ex, whatever that has transpired. For some of you, it's your relationship. Um, I see some of you could be divorcing. Some of you could be very much divorcing and that sort of a thing is happening. But at work, I'm seeing that you're going to be successful at work. I'm seeing some of you leaving your work and moving on because of lies and deception. But as you do that, something new is going to be coming in your life. And you're going to be quite happy with this new thing that is coming in your life. So wonderful energies um, of uses for the last. The Lady of the Mirror, Reflection and Judgment is coming in. So a lot of you are going to be looking at yourself, the Lady of the Mirror. A lot of you are going to be looking at yourself in the mirror and realizing what has happened and what has transpired. So, um, Ophios, this money is going to be coming in. I'm seeing some deceptiveness, but work, you're going to be very, um, the Wheel of Fortune is there with work. I'm seeing peace coming between you and people in organization, institutes and organization peace is coming in. So, um, you know, just reflect in this month. It's all about reflecting back on what has transpired and understanding what has transpired. I'm seeing a lot of you, uh, we're going to be finding out that uh, someone tried to do either to your kids, 
this Taurus Virgo Capricorn can be a kid that some group of organization try to do something to a younger person who is a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn. This could be a, a partner or a kid or something, but you're going to find out the truth. Ladies and gentlemen, Merry Christmas. And I will speak to you in um, by the full moon for this year. Um, the full moon reading is going to be the last reading. And I'll speak to you next year. Merry Christmas.